Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2021 Japan. This is the Yokohama Matsuri at the Yokohama Arena. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. We have a K1 Super Featherweight uh, uh, here between Yuta Murakoshi and Narufumi Nishimoto. Yeah, these guys are really technically strong. Nishimoto is known as the KO Machine. KO Machine. He's got 11 wins yes. and 11 knockouts. That's Impressive. Six defeats and two draws. That means if he wins this fight, he will probably win it by a knockout. <laughs> the KO machine. Yeah. Versus uh, Murakoshi, sometimes known as the sniper from Shonan. That's a part of uh, near Tokyo. So more of a precise <gasps> fighting. Let's see what happens between Murakoshi and Nishimoto in round one. Murakoshi is actually known for just, um, you know, uh, fighting long fights and not having so many KOs, but right. he's a very technical fighter. Uh -huh. uh, stays with his game plan and doesn't lose his calm. Mm. So, I mean, it's gonna be an interesting uh, uh, fight here for sure. He's got some problems with his knees, so you'll probably be a bit cautious uh, of using that leg too much. Yeah. Kind of hard to say. Oh, what? A down this early in the fight? Oh, that was very unexpected. <laughs> oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. nice one, Murakoshi. Uh, yeah, good fun from Murakoshi. Mm -hmm. Nothing from his knees there. Like, I mean, wow. I bet Minishimoto wow. didn't uh, accept that coming that early, right? Yeah. Man, that early on in the fight to get like a down? Oh, that's like, ugh. It's a whole game changer. <laughs> I think Nishimoto is going to try to uh, get uh, Murakoshi in his, in, the, in his knee, which is kind of probably not. Mm, no, I don't think so. Um, but of course he's going to, you know, kick it. I mean, this yeah. is just a natural progression. Yeah. But he's not much of a uh, of a low kicker, like uh, generally speaking. Right. Okay. Um, it's a, kind of like a low hanging fruit to go for that knee, but mm. I mean, it's a fight, so who cares? Yeah. <laughs> who cares? Yeah. No, he's more of a he's more of a big puncher. Sure. Sure. That's right. You can tell the way that he's like just looking for that big punch, you know. Oi, man, look yeah. at that. Murakoshi is not breaking his, his style, you know, he's just sticking to what he knows well. well. Yeah, yeah, he, you can see the confidence. You know. It's good. I like the way he's keeping him just busy enough that Nishimoto never really gets going. Yeah, hasn't really had that opening yet, has he? All, all the chance. Oh, you that. see? Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Big bombs. <laughs> wow, heavy punches there. And he's clearly not damaged from that down leg. Mm, mm, mm. oh, right at the beginning, yeah, that was like a... Psychologically maybe, but then, yeah, nothing happening, really. In like a flash system. knockdown. Yeah. So, first round in the K1 Super Featherweight. Uh, and both fighters still looking pretty good. Yeah, no, that was an excited first round for sure. Uh, the flash knockdown from Murakoshi uh, is definitely put him in a position to win the fight. Yep. But, I mean, Nishimoto's hands, for real. If he connects with anything, he's going to drop it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a scary punch is there. I see now that we're coming closer to the end of the tournament, they're changing the, the round row outfits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to keep everyone happy, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go, that was just that. Uh, very early on in round one. Mm. Round one. Man, we are, of course, you just kind of see the confidence in his eye. His 
Round two, see what Nishimoto can do with those hilly punches and well, of course she mm, his game plan. Mm. I think this could get very dangerous for Murato for sure. Like as Nishimoto's out to get that down back. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh but the reason for it, right? oh. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Okay. Mm, he's actually going for that leg a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, man. Big swing thing. And I like the pressure that Nishimoto is putting on. Him. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's really calculated. Because Nishimoto still seems to be the one taking him to the corner of the, the ropes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. <laughs> Front kick for that yeah. bad leg. You know, I don't think that leg is that bad, actually. <laughs> it's just a, <laughs> just a support on it. Maybe it's a camouflage. Who knows? I wonder what's wrong with it. Yeah. Probably like a ligament that could be a bit, you know, hyperextended or it could be the meniscus inside mm. his knee that's a bit rough edge. Right. Oh, that was a nice shot. Did you hear that oh, one? Man. Boy. He's got a chin, that's for sure. Mm. We have to go in round two to Nishimoto. Mm. 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 I gotta say though, I think Murakoshi is actually doing a fantastic job yeah. of just keep, keeping him right where he wants him and he's not, you know, <laughs> losing any ground here. It's yeah. awesome. Hey. Oh, 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 okay, hey. be careful. Just when you thought it was safe. Hey. Sneak that one just before the bell <laughs> rang on round two. So that was exciting yeah. for sure. So this, this, uh, who, who won that round, do you think? Uh, Nishimoto or Murakoshi? Uh, no, Murakoshi for sure. Mm. Although, yes. I mean, Nishimoto is really putting beautiful pressure on him. Uh -huh. Murakoshi is actually fighting out of that distance really well. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, he's comfortable in yeah, that pressure. Yeah. Normally, you, you see people and they, and they, with that kind of pressure, mm. you feel, you know, like, how do you say in English? Uh, <laughs> asin, you know? Yeah. Get a little bit like, Tense, yeah. nervous about it. Nervous, right? nervous, yeah. But he's actually comfortable in that position, which mm. is, uh, yeah, muito <laughs> impressionante. Very impressionate. <laughs> there you go. Very impressive. Multi angle uh, explanation there by Nick. Um, yeah, and there's some of the uh, replay there of those um, <laughs> punches of those distances. So here's uh, coming up very soon is round three here. Murakoshi and so Murakoshi, I don't think he's going to break the plan from what he's been doing so right, far. Right. Nishimoto's probably going to do exactly the same thing. Don't forget, if they connect with anything, they can both knock each other out. Yeah, Boy. So punches like that, that kick too. That was a great start. You know why? Why? it slowed him down, Nishimoto. Oh. Just enough to say, don't, don't mess with me. Okay, okay, yeah. Nice. Mm. Man, he's been throwing some really good kicks. Hmm. Going for that. Yeah, yeah. This is a tactic Nishimoto's been using. 
Mm. Yeah. 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 Punching there instead of that. Nice. See, he keeps doing that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it just it. Ooh, stops ooh, him enough that, one. that he never really gets started properly. Oh, oh. Wow. oh, 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 oh nice. That bad league of yours. Maybe it's not so bad. Some good swings. Maybe one's too. Not much left. Here in round three. Just, just oh, oh nice game. Yes. yes. This is good. This I is have to good break it up. Okay. Okay. He's doing really well. Oh, man. It must be so frustrating for Nishimoto. Oh, well played. I mean, well fought is all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a speed yeah, round. This, is, uh, this goes 100% to Murakoshi. Yeah. We'll see what the other, other three guys just say. <laughs> uh, it was very impressive because with that kind of pressure, yeah. you know, Nishimoto was so close, mm. but he never really got like into the right room. Ah, right, right. right. And I think it's just because, uh, you know, Murakoshi just like three kicks and got him off his timing so many times. It was really well, well put for that. Yeah. I wonder, Yuta Murakoshi. One by decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One by decision. Not the KO machine, but the decision machine. Ah, but it was beautiful. Was, yeah. It was well played. Strategic. And is it is it why he won? Was he was because he, he kept to his uh, style, his, his game plan? Yeah. Mm. I mean, his fight record of thirty wins and nine defeats is proof of that he knows how to stick to a game plan. Uh huh. I hope right. his knee does not have long-term damage. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ooh. There he is with his golf swing of the trophy, his latest hobby. Um, and that was uh, a great, fun fight to watch. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was the K1 World 1321 Okawa Matsuri. The winner there was Yuta Murakoshi. This was Russell Guru and Nicholas Perez. <laughs>